Hello, in this tutorial we will show you how to set up the YYTV Analytics Dashboard. It is a reporting suite specifically designed to measure the direct impact TV ad airings have on website visits and conversions, such as newsletter signups, app installs, purchases, and so on. The setup is very straightforward and consists of three steps. One, implementing the website tracking code to track TV-inspired website visits. Two, creating and implementing the website conversion tracking code to measure TV-inspired conversions. And three, adding the net airing costs to identify the best performing TV airing slots. So let's start with step one, implementing the website tracking code to track TV-inspired website visits. That's what the tracking code looks like. The only thing you need to change is the customer ID. In this example, we change it to 123456. You can either add the YY code to your website directly or through Tag Manager. If you add it directly, place the JavaScript code snippet before the closing head section of all pages on your website, as shown here. For the implementation through a Tag Manager, we're happy to provide a detailed step-by-step -step guide. Just contact us. Step two, creating and implementing the website conversion tracking code to measure TV-inspired conversions. This is very similar to what you're used to in your web analytics tool. Enter the YYTV Analytics dashboard with your login. Click the conversion setting icon on the top right of the conversions box and then click on conversion management. Click create new. Enter a conversion name and select the relevant conversion type. There are three different conversion types you can select. One, conversions with no value. Two, conversions with a fixed value or three conversions with a dynamic value. First option, a conversion with no value. Select this type, for example, for the download of a free white paper or an information brochure on your website. Second option, a conversion with fixed value. This is often used for high engagement goals, such as a newsletter sign up. Enter the desired fixed value of the conversion, in this case, 1050. Third option, a conversion with dynamic value. This is typically used for sales, such as a varying e-commerce basket size for a purchase. To save the conversion type, click Create. Now you can see the conversion tracking code you need to copy and implement into your website. The website conversion tracking code should be added to the right confirmation or thank you page, following a successful conversion, such as thank you for signing up or thank you for ordering. The conversion code can also be executed through a tag manager. Important for conversions with dynamic value, as shown here, the value part, written in capitals, needs to be replaced with the actual value of the transaction when implementing the tracking code on your website. In case you don't know how to do this, please approach an engineer of your company or YY. Step 3. Adding the net airing costs to identify the best performing TV airing slots. Once you add the net airing costs, the YYTV Analytics dashboard will automatically calculate numbers such as cost per visit or return on ad spend. As YY doesn't know the net airing costs you negotiated with the TV networks, you can either enter the cost yourself or if you want YY to do this, reach out to our team. To enter the net airing costs, log into the YYTV Analytics dashboard. Click on the settings icon on the top right of the commercials airings box and then click on manage costs. Enter the net airing costs per channel and creative. Changes are saved automatically, as you can see here. Now we've set up the TV Analytics dashboard. So let's take a quick look if everything is running correctly. You should see each single airing in the TV airings view, as well as the conversion uplift. Once you have a couple of airings, you can check out the aggregated views. Let's take a look at TV channels. Here you can see that the channel Rye performs way better than the channel RTL. RTL has a return on ad spend of 10%, whereas Rye has one of 27%, almost triple the one of RTL. So it's time to shift some budgets to maximize your TV advertising ROI. Do you have any further questions? We are happy to help. Just call us or send us an email.